four things if you find out in the question you can solve the problem by using the formulas please don't write 38500 in the actual rate because here they have given total in labor also we have standard which is set by the company and actual which is performed by the people who are employed in that particular company don't write sr into ss though you get the right answer but the formula she will not be able to continue the next formula Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Grade College the Temple of Excellence welcome to all the students for the fourth session of standard costing now in the last sessions we actually went with the third again and the first we told you about the material cost variance material price variance and material usage variance in this session i'm going to teach you a very different topic that is called labor variances what is it labor variances let's go with the formulas here now when we go with the formulas of labor variances first thing what is that we need to know is very simple that is labor labor variances see the word labor here it can also be written as l a b o r labor right so don't get confused about somewhere i would have written l a b o r somewhere l a b o u r so don't go with it the mysu university they only go with l a b o u r and the other universities they go with l a b o r so here let me just erase this for you right now okay so what exactly the variances we have labor variances so there are three types of labor variances according to your syllabus what are they the first one the second one and the third however they give just the way the abhilash chandra tricks which went with the mcv mpv and muv the same way here also we are supposed to go see all these things are what like a creative is what i have done i have taken a lot of time to make these formulas for you people and give it to you the same way here also you need to write something called creative c r e what is it c r e creative c r e now what is the c r e in the sense here you write labor variance labor variance labor variance labor variance so labor cost variance labor rate variance labor efficiency variance i'll write here it is what labor cost labor rate r means rate c means cost here e means efficiency so l and v means labor variance so you got to know is equal to is equal to is equal to. now we need to understand something that is in labor also we have standard which is set by the company and actual which is performed by the people who are employed in that particular company whether it is a laborers who have done that now what happens labor variances is we have standard we have actual we have standard we have actual labor efficiency or the labor variances will cal be calculated with hours and rate what we call h in the sense hours this is hours this is rate now rate and hours in the sense total hours the labor has worked and for 1 hour how much you pay that is what rate is and here hours means total hours he has worked or he has actually stayed in that particular place and then he has worked for it so that is the total hours he has worked now what happens is we have two one is h one is r same way here also actuals will also have something called a h a r so what is it s h s r a h a r in the material we had four in labor also we have four s h s r a h a r so the minute you get this labor variances the formulas how is that you are supposed to go i'll teach you here now understand so we have sh and sr then we have what 
AH and AR. So if we have these four combinations, it is all NF. So what I told you how to remember the variances is the first one, the second one and the third one. So it is creative C, R, E, C, R, E, creative. L, C, V, L, R, V, L, E, V is equal to, is equal to, is equal to. Now for the L, C, V, what is that we should do? Together standard minus actual. What is that? Standard minus actual. So always write this. H should come first and then R. So here, SH into SR. Here, AH into AR. SH into SR, AH into AR. Block the first one. What is sure in the first? You bring it down. So it is AH. Now, ours has come out. What will come in? Rate will come. See here, rate is there. So, rate will go in. So, here, which will come first? That is, standard will come first. So, SR minus AR. Easy to remember. Now, block the first one. Now, next, what is the first one? SR. So, bring this SR here. SR. Rate has come out, what should come in? Our should come, which will come first? Standard will come first. So, SH minus AH. And how to verify this? Very simple, when we go with verification. Verification. Now, the verification is very simple. LCV is equal to LRV plus L E V. L E, this is E V. So it is what? L C V is equal to L R V plus L E V. If you get this right hand side is equal to left hand side, right? That is what. Hence, whatever you have done is all correct. So let's go with the problem. Before the problem, very simple it is. In material, we had S Q S P, A Q A P. In labor, we have S H S R. A H A R and we are supposed to go with the same. So whenever you get this question, what is that you should do? Put a box. In the box, here S H S R. How to remember H R in the sense Rithik Roshan? Let's go with this. Next one here. A H A R Rithik Roshan. If you go with four things, if you find out in the question, you can solve the problem by using the formulas. The only thing is find what is SH, SR, AH, AR. Let's go with the problem. Problem number three in the standard costing. Here are the problem. What it says is standard hours is 3000 hours. Standard rate is uh, 10 rupees per hour. Actual hours is 3500 hours. Wage paid. Paid means actual what they have paid is how much? 38,500 rupees is what they have paid. So calculate labor rate variance, labor cost variance, labor efficiency variances. However, they give R, C, E. But what I know is, I know the formula C, R, E. That is what I'll find out. So before that, what is that I should do? Prepare a table. S, H, S, R. A, H, A, R. So what are, are given there? I'll just go with it. Standard R is what? Standard R, see, directly they have given what? 3000 R's. So I'll write it here. Standard R's is how much? 3000. Done. Next, standard rate. They have only given what? Standard rate. How much? 10 rupees per hour. See, the rate should be calculated per hour. That is for one hour, how much? So here it is how much? 10 rupees. So I'll write here 10. Easy. Done. Next. Actual hours, they have only given H. How much is it? 3,500 hours. So I'll write here 3,500. Easy. Next. Wage paid is 38,500. Please don't write 38,500 in the actual rate. Because here they have given total. We should find the for one hour how much. So how to find this is very simple. I'll just erase this for you people. Now, actual R worked is how much? That is, actual R is equal to 
500 hours. For that, how much they have paid us? The wage paid is equal to 38,500 rupees. That means how to find for one hour? In the sense, 3,500 hours we have actually worked and we got how much? 38,500. So for one hour, how much? For 3,500 hours, 38,500. For one hour, how much? See, because my actual rate is for, actual rate means for one hour, how much the company has actually given. So 3,500 hours I have worked and they have paid me how much? 38,500. So for one hour, how much? Cross multiply. The question mark will always go down, denominator. So the thing is 38,500 divided by 3500. Here 0000, zero, zero, zero is cancelled. 35 and 385. So if you calculate this, let me do the calculation here. 385 divided by 35 is equal to 11. How much? 11. That means for 1 hour, 1 hour, it is 11 rupees per hour. For one hour, how much they have given me? 11 rupees. So I'll write here 11. Hope you people got the calculation of how to calculate AR. Rate is always calculated per hour how much? Per hour how much you are supposed to get. So let's go with a problem now. Now the thing is again, I'll write here. I'll write complete here. Meanwhile, you want me to do all the problem or you will do it. I want you people to do it, right? But I'll just write it here. SH, SR, AH, AR. Know the formula, substitute the formulas. Here, SH is 3000 and then we have 10, 3010. And here we have 3500, 3511. So let's start with the first one. That is... LCV is equal to go with this standard and actual standard is what SH into SR minus AH into AR. See here also don't write SR into SH though you get the right answer but the formula she will not be able to continue the next formula. So always write this Rithik Roshan H and after that only R. SH into SR is equal to, SH is how much? 3000 into 10 minus 3500 into 11 is equal to, now here what has happened is 30,000, 30,000 minus, uh, let's do this, 38500 is what you will get, so 35 into 11 is equal to 38500, so 38500. How is that we got 38500 before calculating is because we have got here itself. See, the wages itself is what? 38500. So here we got this next is equal to. I know that it is in negative, right? I know it is negative. I'll just write it for you people how exactly you should write us minus 8500. But we cannot write minus in rupees. So what is that we will do is very simple. LCV is equal to rupees we will write. Now here we will write unfavorable. What is it? You have in the sense unfavorable. How much rupees? 8500. So this is what you are supposed to go. Next is that. That is the second one. Creative is what I told you. C R E. So the second one is what? L rv is equal to the same way lrv in the sense what exactly the formula would be the formula see i'll give you the formula here sh into sr minus ah into ar isn't it so this ah should come so what is the formula of lrv lrv in the sense ah ours has come so here sr minus ar so what does AH. AH is 3500. So I'll write here 3500 divided by 
SR is how much? SR is 10. AR is 11. So I'll write here 10 minus 11. Here also I'll get negative value. So is equal to 3500 minus 1 is equal to I know that LRV in rupees it is so it is rupees here I'll put unfavorable unfavorable so how much 3500 because it is a negative value but there is no negative for rupees rupees 3500 unfavorable the last one is what now C is done R is done next is E E in the sense efficiency so the third one, LEV is equal to, let's continue with the formula of the second one now. Now, second one, what is the formula? H into, H into SR minus AR. So, this you block, this should come. So, SR, rate is here, that means what will come? That is R's will come. So, SH minus AH. Now, SR is how much? SR is equal to 10. SH is how much? That is 3000. Just uh, clarify. SH is how much? SH is 3000 and AH is 3500. So, here 3000 minus 3500. So, is equal to 10 minus 500. Minus 500. Now, I know that it is negative value, but still. LEV labor efficiency variance is equal to I'll write rupees now here I'll write unfavorable now 10 into 500 is your uh, 10 FISA is it is 5000 rupees 5000 unfavorable if I get this done now how to know that whether I have done right or wrong it's like very simple this is the minute I go with these things understand the verification so, for verification, what is that I will do is, I will write LCV, LRV and then LEV is equal to, is equal to, is equal to. LEV is how much? 5000, that is minus 5000. Only in the verification, I will denote the negative values here. Now, we have LRV, isn't it? So, how much is LRV is? Again, negative 3500. So, I will write minus 3500. So, next one I have that is LCV is what? That is again negative minus 8500. So, what is it? Minus 8500. So, here I will write. Let's go with this. Please do the verification because you will definitely get 5 marks for the verification. Verification. What is it? LCV is equal to LRV plus LEV. LCV is what? Minus 8500 is equal to LRV is minus 3500. Now plus of minus is minus. So here minus 5000. Minus 5000. So here minus 8500 is equal to minus 8500. So 3500 minus minus 3500 minus 5000 is what minus 8500 hence what whatever we have done is all correct any doubt regarding the session please do call us we are always there to help you thank you so much i'll see you when i see you.